Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm gonna do a small guide on how to boost your FPS in League of Legends for the new Season 11. So first of all, we will start with the, uh, the optimization of Windows. After that, we will optimize the launcher. And finally, we will go inside of the game and tweak uh, the graphic parameter to make sure that you have uh, the most FPS. So first of all, write game mode in your search bar. Open your game mode and make sure that your game mode is at off. Really important, you don't want to cause like stuttering or even lose of FP FPS. And game mode, uh, it really depends on some games, but it's causing issue for a lot of people. So make sure this one is at off. After that, the Xbox game bar, make sure that the Xbox game bar is at off. And also, honestly, if you're using like uh, overlays, Discord overlay, Overwolf, uh, NVIDIA overlay, make sure that you disable this. It's, uh, you will lose like resources, you will lose FPS, and also it can cause stuttering. After that, go with capture. Make sure that your background recording is at off and make sure that your recorded audio is at off. After that, also make sure that uh, you have the latest driver for your video card. So if you're using an NVIDIA, go on the NVIDIA website, make sure you update it. Same thing with AMD and even Intel. A lot of people who's playing uh, League of Legends, they're playing with an integrated video card, uh, for, for example, on the uh, Intel processor. Just don't update your driver here. Uh, the update from Windows is more like a driver that will uh, they will use to make sure that uh, your monitor like uh, recognize your uh, GPU. And uh, that's about it. You don't have the latest optimization for video games. So it's really important. Just go on the uh, Intel website and download the latest software driver for your GPU. One more thing that you can do, if you have the latest version of Windows 10, Windows 10, the version 2004, write GPU here. You will have a new uh, feature called graphic setting. Open it. After that, you have the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure that this one is at on. And if it was not, just restart your computer to make sure it's applied. It's a brand new feature that they just released like two months ago, something like that. Uh, I have a dedicated video on this to explain what it's doing. It will help uh, entry level, like a really old computer, but if you have like an IN or a, like a really like new computer mid range, it will not necessarily help you. But for people who are having like a, a lot of issue with their computer, it can help you like two to 3% boost in your FPS. So this one is really important to check. Now let's optimize the uh, launcher. So we will click on settings over there. So in general, first of all, make sure that you enable the low spec mode, really important, check this one. And check the close client during game, also really important. When you will launch a game, the client will close, so you will uh, free some memory for your RAM. Uh, you will free a little bit of your CPU and also your GPU, so really important. After that, the window size, you can go something like 720p. It will also help you uh, for the performance of your launcher. After that, go to notification. Make sure that you disable the eSport notification. Also, it will help you with your launcher. After that, we'll go to interface. Make sure that enable odd animation is unchecked. Really important, it will help you. And one more thing, it's in the game section. Uh, we have um, a preferred Direct X9 legacy mode. Make sure this one is checked for now. Uh, they will probably release the uh, a new API for the game, the Direct X11. It's uh, they were testing it in uh, the PBE. Not too sure what is the impact of this. Like, do you do you have like more like visceral upgrade? Are you losing FPS? Are you gaining FPS? So right now, make sure that you're using this if you have like a really old computer and, and you're struggling with your FPS. Um, I will probably do another video when it will be launched officially and I'm going to do comparison on like an IN computer and also on my laptop with my integrated video card to see what, what is the difference between both. But for now, really important, just use the legacy mode. It will uh, help you a lot with your FPS. So that's about it for the launcher. Now we will go inside of the game. I will show you what to tweak, tweak sorry, to have like the most FPS of your game. 
So now, inside of the game, first of all, the resolution. I recommend to play the resolution of your monitor. For me, it's 1080p. But for sure, if you're still struggling after the guide about your FPS, you will probably need to lower your resolution. So something like 720p or even less if you're still struggling. But uh, for sure, the resolution will help you a lot with your FPS. After that, you have the window mode. For a window mode, I recommend to play full screen. I did a comparison between window and borderless, and both you were losing like 2 to 3 FPS, and also I was losing stability in my FPS, so that's why it's really important to play full screen. After that, hide eye candy. Please, this one, check this one. You will gain 1 to 2% in your FPS. After that, and uncheck the enable screen shake. Uh, you don't want this effect, and also it can cause uh, a little bit like like drop of if you of your FPS when you have this effect like on a really low end computer so please uncheck this one after that you can take your your small slider and will soon fall. sorry I'm gonna wait and put this one at increased performance this one want to make sure that uh, you're gonna uh, have like the maximum performance and you will not have the image quality after that we will change a couple of options by yourself for example character quality this one you can put this one at medium you have like a difference between one to two percent for each bracket so it's not a lot and medium is a good point to go for at uh, this game environment quality this one is a little bit uh, more uh huge like it's two to three percent for each bracket so go with with very low Effect also go with very low. If you're getting like a huge amount of like drop in your FPS when you're fighting, it's probably because of the effect quality. So that's why it's really important to go very low or low. Again, really depend on your computer. If you have like a medium, comp mid range computer, probably you can easily run medium or even high. After that, the shadow quality, this one is the most important. Uh, uh, graphic parameter in this game if I compare very high to off you can gain 10 to 12 percent in your FPS so this one just remove it you don't it's not necessary you don't need like shadow in in a mobile it's not like an FPS game that you need to, to see if someone is there or not so really important this one just put off character inking please uncheck this one after that the frame rate cap this one just uh, cap with your uh, amount of hertz on your monitor so for example you have 144 hertz monitor go with 144 fps if you have like 120 just go with 120 and if you have like a 60 hertz normal monitor go with a 60. uh the, the goal here is not to uncap it and like create a huge amount of fps and create like some heat in your computer because some people are playing like on the laptop and it's not well cool so uh after that for example you uncap your fps you're getting a usage of your GPU at like maybe uh, four, like 60, 70, and now you have like some struggle with your E because you're getting some throttling. So really important, just cap it. You don't really need it. You just need the amount of FPS that your monitor can really show with the Earth. So this is a really good trick that will help you a lot. After that, the anti-aliasing, make sure this one is unchecked. Uh, it will also help you like 2 to 3% over there. Virtual, vertical sync really depends on you, me, I'm not getting any tearing and uh, I'm not a big fan of vertical sync because of the input lag, but in this game it's not like a big deal, it's not like a first person shooter, so it really depends on you. So that's about it guys, if you have any question about this guide, just come in in the YouTube section, post me your rig, CPU, GPU and RAM, I will try to help you uh, the best that I can. Uh, good luck with this new season. I hope you have uh, the yellow that you, you want. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace!